Greetings and welcome back to Idol Barbershop Tycoon. In our last episode, we continued with the story involving Mike Freshcut, and there he is right there, including some things from his past. An old crush. Maybe we'll see her here. We also learned some things about his employee and a possible hidden agenda. Is she working for Simon? We're going to have to see about that. Maybe it's something entirely different. We also had Mr. Jaden make us a nice little addition over here, even though we're not really using it yet. I'm guessing that that will come up fairly soon. We also apparently have the 1600 reputation we need to advance the story, but I also see at the bottom on the right, we might have some new haircuts or beard cuts available to us. So why don't we do that first, because that's how we make money. And as you can see at the top, We've made a lot of money. We got 7.1 million. I didn't know barber shops were that uh, yeah, profitable with just two chairs. We should definitely hire more people. All right, let's see what we have here. All right, we got a couple of things here, including a new haircut, the brush up. All right, we needed 1,500 reputation for that, and of course we have that. All right, and then we can get an upgrade for the undercut. We'll do that. And finally, we can three-star the Fade. All of those will get us more money and more reputation. Now, beards. All right, we do have a new beard available. This is the Brett beard. I'm not really sure who Brett is, but you know what? We'll get that one. Someone might want it. And we can also uh, get the third star on the horseshoe. So let's do that too. Because after all, we have plenty of money. Of course, we have dropped under seven million, so... Maybe we're poor now. Okay, so we're good to go here. We don't have any of these missions until we advance the storyline. So let's get going with that. And this is going to be for Mike. I thought this wasn't going to be too long of a wait. I'm so happy to have my own place to live in. And today, I'm going to install a new bed. All right. I spotted a good place with nice online reviews, so let's call. You're not going to call your friend about furniture? I guess he's only like unusual furniture, right? Okay, so this is Angelina Jensen. Where have I heard that name before? Hmm, this will be interesting. Dreams Furniture, how can I help you? Hi, my name is Mike. And I'd like to purchase a new bed for my, guess you could call it, loft. Sure, Mike. Have you seen our catalog? We have several models that could fit your needs. Yes, I know the model I'd like. Great. I'll take the details. We can deliver and install the bed later today. Thank you for your trust. Oops. Angelina Jensen. Dreams Furniture Delivery. Where should we install the... Mike, is that you? This is where Mike has a heart attack and dies. Oh, my. Angelina Jensen. Oh, Mike, it's so good to see you. I knew my client was named Mike, but I didn't know it was THE Mike Freshcut. Ha, ha, ha. The Mike Freshcock. What about you? The Angelina Jensen. What are you doing here? Well, I'm working at Dream Furniture. It's a family business. I came back to help my father with the shop. Ah, it's good you came back. You know, it's a bit silly, but I always regretted not saying goodbye properly. What happened? You know, adult stuff, I guess. Mom separated from Dad after an epic fight. She threw me and our clothes in the car and drove off. There was nothing I could do. Anyway, that's in the past. Sorry, I didn't get to say goodbye. So instead, I'll say, hello, Mike Freshcut. Ha ha, welcome back, Angelina. Thanks. By the way... I am here for work, so Mr. Freshcott, tell me where you'd like your bed. Ah, oh, yes, this way.
Just over there would be nice. Okay, so what are we going with? Uh, tell me, Angelina, which one do you like best? I mean, that would match the doormat. I don't, I don't like that one, you know? Okay, you know, I just realized that these are all variations of the doormat. You know, remember the one with like the pink purple around the edge? There it is right there. There's the exact pattern that I got, and there was the one that I didn't like. So I guess if it matches the doormat, the doormat, right? Okay, I think the bed suits this room quite well. Good choice, Mike. Ha! Huh. Thank you, Angelina. Well, I guess I'll be going. So happy to have seen you and explain why I disappeared back then. Maybe it's stupid, but that's a load off my mind. Yeah, it's really nice to see you too. And now that you uh, know where I work and live, thanks to the bed you just delivered, don't hesitate to come by. Okay, I will. See you soon, Mike. By the way, did you just invite her to come visit you at your bed? I can't believe that actually happened. Okay, so now we have to get the 3,000. So if I get an offer for increasing reputation, I'm going to take it. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Um, all of these we've done already. Upgrade to level 200. This was... The Haired and Beard Chair 1. All right, we're just, I'm just going to grab these, right? Because we've done these. It's not like the money is very important to me at this point. I think we should probably do some upgrading. Just out of curiosity. No, I was just looking to see. Okay, we can't upgrade the bed. I'm sure Mike would have appreciated that. All right, so why don't we just do some chair upgrades? Oh, what is... Uh, oh, this is uh, a new character has entered the scene. Oh, she's all the way at the bottom. Why is she all the way at the bottom? That's strange. I mean, everybody else has been basically in order, although I think that Simon came in after Benkins, or before Benkins. But generally speaking, they've kind of been in order. I wonder why she's all the way at the end. All right, so why don't we just uh, do some upgrading because uh, we have to wait until we have a lot of reputation. You know, I think we should probably upgrade this first, the, uh, the towel rack, because this one does directly increase our reputation. Thing is, I don't know if we can get to 600. I mean, we have a lot of money here. I guess maybe we can shoot for like five and see how much money we have left, right? Because I do have to do the other stuff, right? Okay, you know, we'll leave it there for now and get back to it, right? This one, let's get this to 200 and see. We're starting at uh, 5.8, right? That's not so bad, but the next one's going to be 400, so it would probably be a little bit pricey. I can't get any more of those. Okay, what is that? That's, I don't know what that is. Premium style offer. Um, I'm, oh, it's down here? I, I don't know what I'm looking at. Oh, I'm supposed to get oh, a premium style. Oh, you know, that would be a lot of gems. I'm going to hold off on that one. Okay, I'm glad they took it off of the screen because that was... Yeah, that was kind of bad. I don't mind that being on the side, but putting it on the screen like that, that's, that was a little bit bad. All right, let's start with chair one because I think they're both the same. All right, let's see. Can we do 600? It might be around the same. We get to 500 and then do the other one to 200. All right, why don't I do that with, because the thing is I do have to do both fields, the haircuts and the beards. All right, so this one will try to get to 200. Yeah. All right, and boom, there we go. All right, let's do the beards, same thing. Get to 500 and get the, uh, the second one to 200. All right, all the way up here to 500. There we go. 
And we'll do this. Apparently, I need more millions. All right, we'll get the other chair into the same zone and then figure out what we're going to do from there in terms of spending money. All right, can I just move to the other chair? Yes, I can. I can just move to the other chair. All right, let's get this up to 500. Maybe we'll have the money to get them to 600, right? I just, I want to get them kind of even here. Actually, it shouldn't be a problem. As soon as I get this one to 200, I'll get that one to 600. Oh, I forgot I have to do beards too. Right, right. All right, let's just do that first. Then we'll decide. All right, beards up to 500. All right, and all the way up here. And then we'll get this to 200. It seems that the chair levels every time we hit a threshold. If you'll notice with the picture of the chair, it says it's level 18. So when I get this up to, it turned to 19. Is there any benefit of that other than being able to see how powerful your chair is? I mean, maybe there are missions where you have to get your chair to a certain level. All right, I have 3.7 million left. So why don't we just pick one chair like this one and try to get to 600 for both of them? I don't know if the price is going to spike or something like that. It can happen, so I'm going to keep an eye open here. All right, and there we go. All right, so we have a 20th level chair now. And we'll go over here, we'll do the same thing. And boom, 600. All right, I think we started with 3.8. So here's the thing, do I wanna actually get rid of all my money doing that? Is there a reason to save it? All right. What is this one gonna give me? Oh, that's just gonna give me money and not really enough to justify the video. I'd rather have the reputation multiplier. So I really should have gotten rid of that one earlier. Okay, I already have a, um, this thing, didn't I start this? I could have sworn that I started this. I guess I didn't. I must have, lo I loaded the money in, but then I guess maybe I didn't hit the launch. It's a shame too, because it was 80,000 before. I guess it goes up with the level of your items there, right? Okay, well, do a launch. More customers means more stuff, right? And unfortunately, we're waiting for 3,000 now, so that might actually be a while, won't it? Oh, that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for right there. Uh, increasing the reputation speed is definitely something I will watch a video for. Okay, hopefully that is going to speed things up. And speaking of speeding things up, I don't really think there's anything else I can do at the moment. So I think what we're going to do is maybe do a little bit of a time lag. So when we get near 3,000, we'll be back. And we're back. I actually had to exit the game and then come back later because if you leave it, it just kind of resets and you really don't get anything. So uh, we do have the 3,000 reputation. We have some new story. We also have some new haircuts. So let's take care of that first. Or maybe just, I guess we're going to have a new beard. But we do have an upgrade here for the brush up. Uh, expensive, but I'm guessing it'll make us a lot of money. And besides, we do have a lot of money, right? Okay, and we have a new beard. This is the full goatee. Not just a goatee, the full goatee. All right, and that, oh, we can also do an upgrade here on the Brett beard. More reputation, more money. All right, so let's uh, continue Mike's story. I assume it's going to be Mike's story. Yes, it is. Hey, Mike. Morning. Hmm. Oh, hi, Anna. What are you up to, big brother? I'm taking measurements for a desk. I was thinking of personalizing it a bit. Oh, that's okay, I guess. But maybe that's not the most urgent need of the barbershop. 
I mean, it's fine the way it is right now. Well, you know, Anna, you only get to make a first impression once, and I want people to come in to be amazed. You mean clients, right? Yes, clients, friends, family too. Oh, how sweet of you. Dots, dots. Now tell me what's really going on. Okay, fine. You are my sister, after all. Yeah, it's a fact that I've been trying to hide for years, you goof. Now, come on, tell me. I saw Angelina. What? You saw Angelina Jensen? Did you run into her in the street? No, actually, she came in here. She's working at her dad's business selling beds and sofas. Wow, that's incredible. How did it go? Better than expected, really. I got the feeling we really connected. And? And nothing. We talked, she delivered the bed and left. But now I can't stop thinking about her. And I ended up working up this reception desk to take my mind off things. Ha <laughs> ha. I see. I think you need my help for the plan, big brother. But first, let's finish that desk decoration of yours. I guess this is where I choose a new desk. Take a look at this website I found yesterday. They have very stylish furniture. Well, that one's got like a glass top on it. It doesn't really fit with everything else. I mean, that one's okay. I think that one works better, so we'll take that one. Awesome! That color really fits. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. Maybe we could add a phone too, make it look more professional. Isn't that what's on it right now? Because I see a phone. Yes, fine. I'll add a phone next. Dots. Dots. Psst. Check your script, sis. That's when you talk about your plan for Angelina. Ha ha, I know. I was just adding some suspense. Okay, did we just get a fourth wall violation there? Okay, let's call it Operation Angelina Jensen. You told me she's working at Bed and Couch Company, right? And guess what? What the barbershop definitely needs is a waiting area. And what does a waiting area need? Comfy sofas. Oh. So, when you're ready, you can call her to discuss sofas for the waiting area. But instead of just letting her go, you offer her nice coffee and the new sofa of yours. That's an incredible plan, Anna. Thank you, sis. I impress myself sometimes. Anyway, you're welcome. Oh, but I don't have a coffee machine yet. Guess what we're getting next. Okay, so the next one is going to be 5,000. So that's going to be a long trip, and I don't think we're going to do a cut for that. But we do have some missions here, right? Okay, I didn't actually do the first one. Upgrade to level 50. What is this? Oh, the reception desk. We can upgrade the reception desk. Okay, didn't realize that. All right, we'll take care of that right now. All right, so let's see. Because I tried this one. It was just a hunk of junk, so... Okay, what's going on here? Accelerate the time needed for basic cuts. I mean, does that mean speed it up? I have no idea. All right, let's just uh, get it up there. And I think a lot more than just 50, too. We'll go for like 200. Because why not? Oh, and 200 opens up the next one. Steady hand exercise. Accelerate the time needed for advanced cuts. I'm guessing that means speed them up. You know, I don't know what accelerate the time. I guess it means speed it up. All right, so we can do something with this too. All right, I'm going to go for 150. There we go. We're starting to get a little bit pricey. Okay, that should be good to go for now. All right. And it looks like we got that mission. Some more gems. Okay, now I now have 100 gems. All right, so yeah, 5,000. I think that's probably where we're going to end this for now. 
Um, I'll try to do these whenever I see them, but you know what? Once you go uh, idle, the reputation really fills up kind of quickly. You know, I kind of left it and went and did something, and I came back, and I saw, like, the idle money gathering screen was up, and I just exited, and the reputation didn't really change any. But what I did do is I exited from it, and I let it go for about 10 minutes, came back to it, and it was full. So idle is definitely the way to fill it up, and I'll be doing that in the future. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So it looks like uh, Mike may be uh, reconnecting with his old crush. So we'll have to see how that works out. But a waiting room definitely seems like a good idea because we see people standing around here, especially when we have the, uh, the little thing going down here to increase the number of people. Uh, we are going to need more chairs, though, so that's something we should work on in the future, and I'm sure it's something that will pop up. Perhaps we'll hire somebody who isn't plotting against us. Anyway, if you want to see more of this, please give the video a like, maybe say something in the comments, and subscribing is always a great way to show your support for a series and a YouTuber. Anyway, thank you very much for your attention, I really appreciate it, and play games, because games are fun. See ya!